we're going to talk about the cable crunch today and um, with the cable crunch um, there's a few things that you have to keep in mind you know one is most people don't recognize that there's a big difference between um, what, what we call hip flexion which this is hip flexion look at the spine you know look at me at the hip when you're doing hip flexion this is what's forward okay which the abs assist in that you can also do it laying on your back with your legs up straight and then bringing your legs up okay that is hip flexion alright there is also spinal flexion and that's where all the ab exercises are the main mover so this is flexing the spine okay notice that I get a hump in my back a rounded back as I'm moving forward okay so those are the abs pulling the rib cage toward the pelvis now when you do the reverse crunch it's exact opposite this stays still the pelvis moves toward the rib cage okay but both of those are spinal flexion okay so when most people do their cable crunches they're doing they're not understanding that there's a difference between the two movements so they're doing a lot of spine flexion and they're getting a little bit of ab work I mean sorry rephrase that they're doing a lot of hip flexion no rounding of the spine and they're getting a little bit of ab work but abs are kind of almost more secondary as opposed to spine flexion so that's how we get into that, that that's the, the main explanation of that so as you get into this uh, these cable crunches you want to be wary of that you want to understand that you want to be flexing the spine more than you want to be flexing the hip okay also in this version of the cable crunch I'm going to show you you're going to want to avoid sitting back on your butt okay, okay. you want to be um, kind of in an L shaped uh, deal there if you sit back with your butt on your heels you're going to restrict the movement of your spine so you're not going to be able you're not going to be able to get a big range of motion and um, get a great contraction of your abs so you want to sit out and I actually even with enough weight I let the, the, the stack pull me a little bit towards it so I'm a little elongated so I can get my chest out because if I get my chest out as I flex I got a little bit more movement that I can um, that I can perform to get a better ab contraction okay so some people they'll stay curled up but then if you stay curled up a little bit of movement you want quality work you want um, big movements you know so um, that's something else that you want to keep in mind with the cable crunch okay also you don't want to when I, when I set my arms I keep them still right behind my head and they don't move okay the only thing I want moving and pulling is my torso as I'm contracting my abs and the arms just follow along with it so you want to lock those in there um, I use ropes sometimes I usually don't like to use ropes like a lot of people do because uh, a lot of clients a lot of my clients and stuff like that have um, issues with their grip especially when they're first starting working out so if that grip gets tired their ability to work their abs is now limited by the grip which your abs should be much stronger than your grip especially if you're a beginner so you don't want those silly uh, limitations so I use a lot of different uh, handles that are easier to hold on to when um, I have clients perform cable, cable crunches so remember you want to flex the spine, the spine not the hip don't sit don't sit back on your uh, on your heels you know and um, bring it all the way down elbows to the knees you're just trying to roll yourself in the ball bringing your elbows down to your knees and getting that great crunch and um, as you come out think of un unraveling and sticking your chest out and um, letting the, the weight kind of slightly pull you toward the machine as you lengthen out and get straight and then you curl back under going back down elbows to the knees okay this is not something that you're gonna because I get a lot of people and they'll always say hey I should lose light weight I'm gonna lose 20 pounds it's like okay yeah go ahead and try the 20 first thing they do because there has, you have to have enough weight to hold yourself up when you're doing this cable crunch. If you try to sissy out and say, oh, I can only do 20 pounds, and you weigh 130, 140, 150, whatever, you're not going to be able to stay up. The weight's going to, you're just going to crash right to the floor, and you wonder why you can't do them right, because you don't have enough weight on it. You have to, you have, to have a challenging weight, and that weight ha usually has to be enough 
to hold you, to at least hold you up, to keep you from being in position and falling right in, flat on your face. Okay.